Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and today we're going to be taking a look at some sound meter applications for Android and iPhone and all the other iDevices as well because it'll work on anything. Uh, here's one that I like for Android. It's called Sound Meter and uh, what I like about this one is um, I also, you guys, if you've been following my channel, you guys know I have a Droid X. I also have an HTC Droid Incredible. Um, now this sound meter is consistent bet uh, between my HT um, Droid Incredible and my um, Droid X. I put them side by side, like this is just my iPhone, but just for, for um, example, um, whatever the number is here on the HT Droid Incredible would be the same on the Droid X, even though this is an iPhone. So that's what I liked about that. It had a consistency of... Um, monitoring audio on different Android phones and they actually say which um, phones that works very well with this application so read the description um, when you download it I think it was HT, uh, HT um, um, Motorola droids and Samsung or maybe something else where they uh, tested, tested them on so they recommend it for certain Android phones now I'm going to tell you why I like sound metering as of right now, I'm probably about six feet up, uh, not six inches, or eight inches away from my camcorder where the microphone is, and my voice is right around 70, 75, or whatever. It's um, this busy uh, tra uh, traffic phone ringtone, so my voice is a little bit on the loud side because I want to be very clear, uh, so the audio picks it up very well. Now I want to talk about <coughs> monitoring audio if you want to get into YouTube videos. And why it's important. Now, why, one of the reasons I like this application because it's a cheap fix to help get you guys started. Now, there are much better ways of monitoring audio than using this. However, if you guys want to get into uh, tech reviews or whatever type of videos you want to use, you know, right now I'm in macro mode, so I'm very close. So I'm going to try to lower my voice like this. I'll try to get a little lower. And as you can see, my voice is starting to drop. Now, <clears throat> what would happen? Let's say I was in that, that tone right around where it says normal conversation. Um, now, let's say I go uh, four or five feet away from the camcorder, and maybe I'm doing a tech review of uh, HD television set or an Xbox console or PS3. It doesn't really matter. I would want to raise my voice up very loud like this so the voice can pick me up and everybody can hear me. So, as you can see, it starts to go up a little bit more and you can tell that's an, um, a voice. So you can monitor the audio and try to keep those numbers in the same level where normal um, speaking is. Now I'm going to show you, well, uh, but um, once again, check... Um, see if your phone is compatible. Now I do want to say I do have the HT Droid Incredible and I believe when I download this app it didn't say, it said HTC Desire and it didn't say HT um, Droid Incredible but I, I checked it with the Droid X and the Droid X in this, the metering is exactly the same. Okay, so let me show you <clears throat> the um, the ones for iPhone and there's two of them. Now I have a um, iPod Touch, and the iPod Touch metering is a little different. You know, so if I get the, let me turn on the iPod Touch, and and come right here, and they're a little bit off, a little bit. Um, I think the mic is actually a little bit more accurate in the iPhone than it is in the iPod Touch. Keep in mind that the mic here on the uh, iPod Touch is more for like FaceTime or S Skype talking or stuff like that. It's more of a quality microphone. Um, so again, you know, you can keep, you can still keep a good idea where your voice is. So if you're moving around a little bit. Now the other one that's for iPhone, um, I don't really like this one too much. You know, it's not bad. Um, it's just, it's just way, it just jumps too much to really get a good moder, modern, modern, modern meter the audio, whatever. I'm tired, guys. 
uh, if you want to monitor the audio. So they're a little bit different as you can see. Um, so the mic's on consistent. So if you're using different eye devices, you know, I don't know if you guys, maybe you guys have like an older iPhone or some people keep their old devices. Use different devices if you do like this application. Uh, try to stick with one and uh, remember where the numbers are. Don't get them mixed up because <clears throat> if, you, if you start swapping, you might get a little confused. But uh, try to keep, I, I really recommend the other one anyway. So this is the one I, I like to use, sound level. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the links in the description box for the Android one and the two iPhone ones. However, this is the one I recommend for iPhone. Now I want to talk about how to improve your audio and I think there are a few videos and I'll try to find them. If I find them, I'm going to put those also in the description box. Here are a couple of tips in improving audio for YouTube. Um, the, micro, the, mics, the camcorders with the best microphones in my opinion, my opinion, uh, if you're on a budget, especially Sanyo, Panasonic, Panasonic bought Sanyo, uh, so the mics are very good on both of them. So if, um, Sanyo is, it still operates kind of privately, like they let Sanyo do their own things, but it's owned by Panasonic. And the mics on Sanyo's are, are pretty decent, especially on this camcorder. And I'll put the link to this model up front to Amazon, but this one the price has gone up because. I don't think they make this one anymore. Panasonic also makes very good camcorders with um, built-in mics. has a lot of really nice punch. Kodaks, you got to be kind of wary. Some Kodaks are good. Some of them are bad. Um, if you get a Play Touch, I highly recommend. There's a guy on YouTube I'm going to recommend. You can get some of um, the Play Touch. Get some external mics or some little, little ones. Highly improves the audio quality. Uh, flips are pretty good. Um, the audio from Flips aren't bad. But the other way you want to improve audio, if your camcorder can take um, a hot shoe, we can plug in an external uh, microphone. You may want to get a Rode mic. It's easy. You can put it on the hot shoe. Um, I know Rick Van Manning has one. I know Soldier Knows Best has one. A bunch of other YouTubers have them. It go, they go, the Rode mic goes for about $150. It is a mono mic, but it is a shotgun mic. So wherever it points, that's where the audio it's going to pick up. Um, Rode mic also makes a stereo one um, that kind of like picks up the stereo coming from left and right. I think the, um, the shotgun one would probably be the best one. Uh, there is also another microphone that's even better than the Rode mic, and that one goes for $30. It comes from Hong Kong, and Rick Van Man has done a review on that microphone, and I'll leave a link in the description box. However, that's more uh, of a pole mic, so if you get like, I don't know, if you get like a a stand where you can put like microphones in, and you're you know you're in a, a controlled environment like in your house. Um, I recommend that microphone. But if you need something to put on a camcorder or an HD DSLR, I'd rather go with the the Rode mic. The other thing to improving audio and getting close is to get a wide angle lens. If you have a wide angle lens, you're able to get closer and you know still have a good portion of yourself or your product that you're filming to be in the in the video. Uh, another way to get good audio is to use a wireless microphone um, that can clip clip onto your shirt. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, depends on the price, but they are pricey for the good ones. You can get a wired mic that clip, clips onto your shirt. Also, another tip is that you can get a, um, a separate audio recorder like a Zoom. Um, they're a little bit pricey. I think they're around $200, $300 for the model um, that you uh, decide to buy. But the audio is very good, and you can put those like in your jacket, uh, or you can even put like a mic from the sound recorder up in the clip it to your shirt where it's hidden. And then you have to sync that with um, um, with the audio from like your camcorder, something like that. And there's people who've done that. Basically, what you do is you clap so that the so the the built-in microphone in the camcorder hears a loud clap. The, um, the audio recorder hears a loud clap, and then you, you line up those two spikes of audio, and then you sync the audio, and then you delete the audio track that's from the camcorder, and this used the one from the separate audio recorder, and that's how you get good audio. 
However, um, I really do like these sound meters. They can, you know, kind of get you out, get you out a couple of a jam, get you out of a jam for first time YouTubers. You know, so it's kind of a nice thing. So once again, guys, this has been MP, mp4podcast.com. And uh, if this video has helped you, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the subscribe button right there. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, if you want to give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that as well. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'd be more than happy to help any one of you guys out. If you guys want to help me out a little more, please favorite the video. Once again, guys, mp4podcast.com. You guys stay safe. Take care. Bye.